yang Hello and welcome to another edition of the DJ Sound Show shot here in London. As you can hear, I'm a little bit hoarse, but hopefully we're going to get through the show. I'm joined today by a techno veteran from Frankfurt. I'm really excited to invite Gregor Tresher into the studio today. How are you doing, Gregor? I'm very good. Thanks for having me. Glad we eventually got you here, didn't we? A yeah. couple of wrong turns here with the driver, but yeah, it's London traffic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not that kind of a ruthless um, efficiency that you're used to. Uh, well, what can you say? <laughs> <laughs> Now, you were on DJ Sounds three years ago. Uh, we spoke about your label. We spoke about the album. You just started using the DJM 900. Yeah, well, not just. Actually, I use it for, for quite a long time now already. I also even use, use it for live, so yeah. Excellent, but I'm really looking forward for you to lay down Thank you. a DJ set. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. What what do you think you've got in mind for the set? Actually, I don't know. I just was checking the the tracks, and I, so I have the first track ready here. I, I don't know what's going to happen afterwards, but that's how I DJ anyway. So yeah, you just kind of yeah, sort of. I mean, I, mean, I couldn't say I take a look to the crowd because there is. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, if you I could, dance, I, yeah, yeah, I can we'll give see. you some nice feedback. <laughs> so, um, what about the label Break New Soil? How's that going? It's going very uh, very well. Um, it's been my album last year, and that was our main focus. And then we had Mr. Laurent Garnier doing a remix at the end of last year, which was a big thing for me. Very and nice. I just did, just did a release with Petra Dunda from Croatia on my label. Uh, the release is called Taurus. And um, yeah, we've got new stuff coming up as well. Maybe I'll play something. Very nice. Looking forward to it. And um, being very busy touring, as always, uh, Time Warp. I just saw your YouTube channel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I saw a lot of DJs have a lot of fun there. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. It was really, it was so good. It was outstanding. What makes it so special, do you think? Is it just What? full of music lovers? Yeah, I mean, it's it's an incredible lineup. You know, like they, they this lineup they do is just so good. And um, it's also this this meeting in Germany where everybody. This is actually the first meeting of the year where everybody's going. Even if you're not playing, people are going there. Right. You know, it's it's kind of like uh, it's very easy for everyone to attend. They exactly. can come out of hibernation, out of studio hibernation, sort and of, they yeah. can. Yeah, and you just you just meet everyone there. It's always the same thing. Very nice. Yeah. Excellent. Nice one. Well, I think we should just leave you yeah, to, let's do to it. get on with the mix. Yes, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Wonderful. So this is Gregor Tresher in the mix here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show. Thank you. 
Treasure. Wow. Get round here, let's have a little chat. Oh my goodness, I enjoyed that. Did you? Uh, very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to play that uh, setup too. Yeah, I mean, that was the most beautiful rolling groove. Just, I love how you just kept it going. You thank know, you. and there, there were effects in there, but they were so subtle and they were. Yeah. really working with the music and yeah. they're so deliberate i try to not disturb the music with too much of the effects you know but it's nice to have them and but you've got your sound there you know you, yeah. you can yeah. have your gregor treasurisms yeah exactly yeah and also as long as short as the set is i try to still do it as i would do a dj set you know start off and then have a peek at some point and then go down again that's that's important to me as a dj yeah i mean yeah the, uh, but the groove was most definitely there Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Now, many of your own productions there? Not so many, to be honest. Maybe two, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what about from the label? Um, I played Taurus as the fifth, the track, the last one I did with Peter Dundorf. That's the fourth track or something. And I think, I think that's about it. I played some grooves from Trooper, that, which I did with Monica Cruz. But yeah, I think that was about it. Just lots of fresh music. Yeah, exactly. I'm not so focused on my own label. I just try to play the music I like at the, at the time and, you know, uh, more focused on new music than uh, necessarily my own, you know. Okay, I mean, um, how is that balance at the moment from the, the live performances and the DJ performances? Um, it's still pretty, or um, mostly DJ performances and I don't want to do the live too often. We spoke about, about, about yeah. that earlier. Um, but I do it from time to time. I just did it at Time Warp as we spoke about earlier. And so I try to do it and only on special occasions and, you know, um, but not, I never want to do it in every weekend because I'm a DJ in the first place and that's what I want to do you know? right so you, you do feel as though you're a DJ first yes and absolutely producer yeah. second well no I think it's two different things and they are ne not necessarily linked in oh way, okay you know so it's two but, different but things but journalists love to do that don't they well yeah of course <laughs> and I understand because it's both me but in the end that's that's my two professions and I like both you know but the, from the DJing doesn't have to do so much with the producing or you know I don't need yeah. to play my own tracks all the time that's basically the reason why I'm a DJ you know I mean I asked you the most cliche question when we uh, had the DJ Sounds interview uh, three years ago about the Frankfurt sound. Right. Now, how do you think things have changed since then? 
I, you, I don't you, remember what I said are, back are then. Are you but spending a lot of time back in Frankfurt? Uh, no, not really. Or, I'm or playing not at all. It, it's actually. just like a base, and well, it's where I live. Fly from. Where, yeah, exactly. It's where I live, where my where I fly from, where my studio is. Um, so it's my home base, but not so much musically nowadays. Even though my whole music musical, how do you say that, heritage? Yeah, is yeah, based exactly. in Frankfurt, I'd say. Interesting. Now, viewers, we're going to go a lot deeper when Gregor has very kindly agreed to come on the lab, and we're going to we're going to go into the nineties. Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're going to talk about uh, the craft of DJing and how you hone those sets and how technology meets music and and all those beautiful relationships. So, yep. check that out. Um, that will be on Mixcloud uh, under the Pioneer DJ Radio channel. Um, but let's get back to the summer. What have you got planned? Well, playing basically all the time. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy <laughs> summer, many festivals. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. So do you see it kind of like, a, I don't want to berate it at all, but almost like a kind of treadmill that you just love it and you're constantly there? Or do you kind of focus on big projects? Um, I'm not sure I forget what you're asking. Um, um, what I mean is you see the DJing is just like, well, I tour and that's it. No, uh, and I still, it's easy. No, I'm or, still... Or, or do you see it as like, I'm no, I have happy this, to... b- this big album's coming out, I'm going to build everything around that. Yeah, it's sort of like that, but also I never take it for, you know, like, I love to do that and it's, I never think that's yeah. a treadmill or anything. No. Oh yeah, sorry, you know, that, that's the thing. I, I didn't mean it like that. I, I just meant, you know, do you, do you like focusing on just like, each party rather than a great big project um i like both mm. actually but you still you have to be there every night of course and, and do your best that, that's for sure yeah excellent and i know i could see that you were really into the rma yeah i use it a lot yeah but so subtly i love it has, has it been a big part of your sets for a long yeah, time yeah I, I got it when you I, I got it pretty early i think and i've been using it a lot i'm not taking it with me all the time but um when i play longer sets i usually usually have it with me and um yeah i love to use it and you use it in the studio or not so I'm much? Not, I, ha- I used it in one or two productions. Yeah, as the plugin, I used it. Yeah. But not so much. It's more something I take on the road. Yeah. Okay. And Recordbox, you, you've obviously. Well, yeah. Got I'm, a... I'm, I'm on the USB stick right now. And um, yeah, it's very comfortable, I'd say. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> no more great big Rimmower boxes going missing full of records. Well, still coming to the show with a with a with a case or something because sometimes it looks a bit you know coming with a USB <laughs> stick. <it's laughs> but yeah, it's it's comfortable. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming on Thanks the show. Thanks for having me. And um, remember to check out the lab where we're gonna go deep. Right. Thank you so much for watching. This is Dan Tate here on the DJ Sound Show with very special guest Gregor Tresher. See you next time. Goodbye.